very good morning my dear students today we are going to see about elasticity which is one of the properties of matter let me introduce what is a matter matter is anything that has mass and volume which takes up space and the matter can be broadly classified into three major categories such as solid gas and liquid now we are going to see about elasticity which is one of the properties of a solid when an external force is applied to your body the body gets deformed in shape or size from that we can define elasticity the property by which you of which a deformed body tends to regain its original shape and size after the removal of deforming forces is called elasticity the well known example for elasticity is a rubber next we can see about stress stress is defined as the restoring force per unit area suppose a force f is applied normally to the area of cross section a of a wire the stress is equal to force per area that is equal to f by a and the unit of stress is newton per meter square then we can see about strain when a deforming deforming force is applied there is a change in length shape or volume of the body the ratio of change in any dimension to the original value is called a strain it is mere a number and it has no units and the stress and strain can be connected with the help of hooke's law hooke's law is defined as within an elastic limit the stress is directly proportional to the strain so that e is called the modulus of elasticity and e is equal to stress per strain unit of this is newton per meter square r pascal and the dimension of this is m l power minus 1 and t power minus 2 next we will see about the different modeli of elasticities such as young's modulus rigidity modulus and bulk modulus first we can see about young's modulus it is defined as a ratio of longitudinal stress to the longitudinal strain and this is denoted by the letter e and e is equal to longitudinal stress per longitudinal strain consider a wire of length l and the area of cross section a it undergoes an increase in length small l when a stretching force f is applied then the longitudinal stress is equal to f by a and the longitudinal strain is small l by capital l then e is equal to f capital l by a small l next we can see about rigidity modulus which is also denoted by the letter capital g it is defined as the ratio of the tangential stress to shearing strain g is equal to tangential stress per shearing strain suppose the lower face of a cube is fixed and the tangential force if is applied at the upper face of area a then the shearing strain is phi and the tangential stress is f by a then the rigidity modulus g is equal to f by a phi and the next thing is bulk modulus which is denoted by the letter k it is defined as the ratio of volume stress to the volume strain k is equal to volume stress per volume strain suppose three equal stresses act on a body in mutually perpendicular directions there is a change in volume small v in its original volume capital v so that the volume stress is equal to f by a and the volume strain is equal to small v by capital v so that k is equal to f capital v by a small v and finally we can see about the poisson's ratio which is also denoted by mu here when a force is applied along the length of the wire 
the wire elongates along the length but it contracts radially so that there will be longitudinal strain as well as lateral strain so the poisson's ratio is defined as the ratio of lateral strain to longitudinal strain so new poisson's ratio is equal to lateral strain by longitudinal strain so my dear students today we have seen about elasticity stress strain hooke's law and different modeli of elastic different modeli of elasticity such as Young's modulus, rigidity modulus, and bulk modulus, and finally Poisson's ratio. Thank you.